CAT software offers the ability to print material list requirements for the production facility. This can be downloaded as a printable document or in a file interface that could be put into devices similar to a plasma table for sheet metal cutting or other automated production equipment. We will now restore the drawing's original characteristics. The position numbers layer from the pressure drop calculation is turned off. In the CATS Commander, we will dimension the duct sizes by clicking on the duct flanges or the sides of the round pipe to show each dimension. In the next window, the attributes are indicated for duct elevations. The user can select top of duct, center line, or bottom of duct. Select OK. The user can click on the duct section and drag the elevation box for the duct onto a position that is readable on the drawing to be printed. In the CATS Commander, item tags may be selected to differentiate between various components within the system such as flex duct, diffusers, and all other components. Here we select a diffuser, indicating the type of diffuser and the CFM. In the CATS Commander, you can assign item numbers of duct or fittings on the drawing. Here we select the Return Air System. Twenty-one pieces are found. We will now assign the type of air, R for return, and select the start object. We can then assign the number sequence we choose to use. We will repeat this on the supply air system. You now have discovered the user-friendly atmosphere of working with the CAT software system modules. We have coordinated the entire project between the sheet metal duct system and the fire sprinkler system. There will be no coordination issues that should arise in the field and would slow your production and allow you to complete the project with what you are sent to the job with from your production facility. Another success story using the CAT software, Intelligent Software Solutions for the Construction Industry.